Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Dunbar Snackbart. It's time for some more MLB The Show 20 gameplay and Diamond Dynasty. As we are going up against the Toronto Blue Jays, continuing with the tradition of alternating between playing home and away. So this time we are north of the border and this is going to be pretty cool because we've got some new additions to the team trying to get uh, a number of legends. And here's one of them, Mickey Mantle. This will be his first at bat. He's going to draw the walk. And it's interesting to see 94 speed and a steal of 41. So I'm hoping the speed can bridge the gap, but just a slow start. And even though the throw was not on target, uh, he's out at second. So that was good for me to be able to see, just kind of knowing, well, you know, Mickey Mantle's going to be great if he's in a situation where, um, you know, he's just doing regular base running, but steals obviously going to be a problem. I mean, I should have guessed that when I saw that his steal rating was 41, but... Nah. We will keep going with things here. Greg Maddox, as you, as you can see, is pitching for me today. 0-2 count. And this one going to be strike three. We'll try and keep this going. I mean, it's it's nice with Greg Maddox getting uh, a good performance out of him simply because I just enjoyed watching those three pitchers from Atlanta so long ago. Like when it was... Uh, Greg Maddox, Tom Glavin, and John Smoltz. Gosh, those were those were some crazy days. John Rocker, even like I remember when all that was going on. That was crazy. But anyway, runner on second in scoring position, obviously. And so I'm gonna have to be very careful here in the bottom of the second, making sure we do not bring him home. But the cutter does the job. We're looking at strike three, and now Reese McGuire is going to come up. No matter what happens, as long as we get the out here, I don't care if it's a strikeout, ground ball, fly ball. Let's just get the out. I'm gonna be throwing a lot of pitches low to try and set up what we're gonna be having for uh, this next pitch coming up. I was just really surprised that one was was on target. I've thrown it high and inside in a lot of cases uh, and just kind of alternated between what's high and what's low. So going low one more time. The four-seamer gets strike three. So those two strikeouts are huge as we head into the third inning with only one hit between both teams. Here's another player that is new to us. It is Ken Griffey Jr. with a great hit. That's going to go into right center. That is going to be a double for him. Making me wish this was like Sigmund Sunwafer and getting that triple. Uh, but today we're going to be trying to complete the mission of Red Sox players up at bat. So get one there with uh, Xander walking there. Adam Duvall up next. Going to hit that one into right, which is going to set up the bases to be loaded. And now we've got Ivan Rodriguez, who is another player that I got for the team. I'm going to work on trying to... Uh, get his progression worked up. Uh, that's something that will kind of take some time. Going with the bunt. And because of that being a suicide squeeze, second baseman ended up going over to the base, which set that up perfectly. So that little bit of small ball here gets us the first run of today. And Greg Maddox, he's going to ground out there. Really was contemplating whether or not I wanted to pull him out of the game, but having just given up one hit so far, I didn't think it was necessarily the right call to make. I mean, looking back on it, you know, hindsight's 2020. That probably would have been the best call if I wanted to get uh, some runs, but we'll see what we can do as far as pitching for the rest of this game and whether or not one run is going to be enough. I mean, obviously, there's plenty of opportunity for us to get some more runs too. So we've got three opportunities after this. But you can see the confidence is up all the way. He's gotten a number of strikeouts so far. I mean, for the sake of time, I'm not showing you all of the strikeouts that he's had. But just know there has been quite a bit uh, that he's thrown up to this point. And that's been one of the biggest factors, I think, to not allowing too many hits besides just that one you saw earlier. Lou Gehrig up at the plate. This one's going to go into left. It was really late on that swing, but I still get the single out of it. I don't care if it's a solid hit or not as long as I get on base. 
Here comes Ken Griffey Jr. again. Going to try and aim for this one low and away. Good timing on the changeup, but a little bit higher than kind of where I was thinking that, that one was going to go to. So we're looking at one out. Xander Bogart's up again. Ooh. It's going to draw yet another walk. So we've had a couple already this game. And it looks like with that one, we're going to be seeing the Blue Jays go to the bullpen. Wilmer Font coming in. Three-run count to Adam Duvall. Ah, dang it. That's going to be a double play. These are happening at the worst times, I feel like. You know, going through and getting people on base like this. Like, it's been great, but I've just left so many people on this game. We're fine. We'll be good. Bottom of the seventh, though. Blue Jays have Jonathan Davis up at the plate. Let's just hope they don't start a rally here. Uh, at some point, I'm going to have to consider when I want to go to the bullpen. Like, how long do I want to keep Greg Maddox in? Not quite as concerned about various stats like complete games here, nor am I concerned about energy. So I am more likely to go to the bullpen in this scenario than I would in like franchise mode or anything else like that where uh, stats really do end up, you know, mattering at the end of the day. Again, 0-2 count. Swung at that one that's in the dirt. He'll be out at first on that drop strike three. So still in the seventh inning, seeing a strong performance. There's pitch number 80, and this one's going to go right into the corner and left. Like, you could really not be more in the corner than that. That was sheer luck. All right, going to uh, go with a pinch hitter here. We're going with Eric Davis. Now, he's got a lot of speed, too. And that was kind of one of the things that, that drew me to keeping him on the team. He's going to hit this one in the left you see his 97 speed is really going to be helpful here. We've got one out, though, and Mickey Mantle up at the plate. With his big steal, you, you better believe I'm going to be going for it here. All right, he's trying to hold me. Makes sense. Oh, even with the pitch out, they're worried. And understandably so. I mean, those are the, the types of you know, attributes you really want to see. All right. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? So much for getting any offense going there. Man, base running has been a real challenge for me here in Diamond Dynasty. I guess stealing bases has been a real challenge. And it might very well be because in Road to the Show with Sigmund Sun Wafer, I'm just so used to stealing bases and it just comes so easily that, you know, in these settings here, it's, it's far more difficult for me to do. All right, Andrew Miller is now going to be pitching for us in relief here in the eighth inning. Getting another strikeout. Blue Jays going to the bullpen as well, and I think this had a lot to do with them bringing in, uh, I think it was a pinch runner, if I remember right. But here's Chipper Jones. One out here at the top of the ninth. This one's going to be driven into center field. It's going to be short, though. That curveball just barely got contact with it. Here's Lou Gehrig. I'm, oh man, I can't wait to say the first Lou Gehrig home run. This obviously not it. Yet again, hitting into a double play. Still waiting for it. I'll wait a little bit longer. Five hits for us, still only one hit for the Blue Jays. And I'm going to be going to the bullpen yet again, this time bringing in closer Nolan Ryan to, to get it done. So this is him in his rookie state, which it's all good. Starting things off, ground ball to second. Oh, thank you, Lou Gehrig. He got pulled off the bag, but is still able to apply the tag. Oh man. Anyway, I'm, you know, I'm kind of not digging the red and black stirrups. I might have to change them out for just one solid color. Like do everything red. Whether you have socks or stirrups, it's just all red. We'll have to switch to that. 
Anyway, the biggest things that you've got with Nolan Ryan here is that four-seam fastball. It's nice seeing the 12-6 curve here, too, because with Roberto de la Rosa, my road to the show starting pitcher, this is a setup that I have, too. I just don't have the changeup. I've got a two-seamer. No, I think that would be the, the pitch I would probably add. All right, there's a strikeout for Nolan Ryan. First of hopefully many. It'll be interesting to see where he ends up as the team continues to evolve. You know, there's some really great closing pitchers out there I'd like to be able to get for the team, but we'll have to wait and see. Ooh, really swinging at that nasty 12-6 curve. Try and blow this one right past him here. Ooh, laid off that one. 97 mile an hour fastball that was high. We're gonna try and move this inside. There we go, swing and a miss. 99 miles an hour and that is going to be the game. Nolan Ryan gets the close. Only one run on that uh, suicide squeeze, but you know what, I'll take it. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate it. More Diamond Dynasty to come later on as well as other MLB The Show gameplay. So make sure you guys subscribe and hit the bell icon. You made it through all the way today. We're gonna to go with Stirrup. So say Stirrup in the comment section, uh, just so I know who's watching it all the way through. That's kind of cool to see. Uh, but also don't forget that in the description below, you'll find a couple of cool links. One is to Patreon. That's the best way to support me. You'll also find a link to the Discord for Dunbar Snack Bar. So drop by, say hi, and let me know what you're missing about sports or whatever it is. Love to, to have you guys make that a rocking place. But uh, really, thank you for watching uh, this episode and all the other stuff that you guys watch here on this channel. Until next time, I hope you guys have a good one.